everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying the bard in black. Now, if you looked at the community page you'll see I said I was going to do some patterns from this book, Lefty Crest Saltwater Part Fly Patterns. And this one is in here. Right. Plate 55 it is, page 105. Um, if you want to look and tie along. Now, originally it was developed as a striped bass fly, basically um, Ed Givens went for a, was basically tying a black whistler, you know, more or less. Maybe a bit more water push, but uh, certainly it was inspired by whistlers, if nothing else. But it's now probably most popular in Australia. Um, and I think, I mean, I think really we should think about it as a colour scheme as much as a pattern in its own right. And it certainly works for all manner of species. You can tie it like a thing, like a whistler. Uh, it works great for Aesox species. You can tie it um, as a river pig. R really, you can suit yourself. Um, it's, but it's well worth tying. So as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel. Get access to the online tying classes some members only content and be entered into the giveaways you can also subscribe, like the bell, uh, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new chant, new videos, like the video, share the video watch all the way to the end, comment below it all helps the channel to grow so I've got my hook my vice, this is the Arex PR370, it's a 60 degree bent streamer right so I'm tying this so it's a, it's a kind of jig version, it'll fish hook point up I like these for like catfish, no, it's, it's a bit big for the black bass, this one that I'm tying, but if I tied it smaller, they certainly will eat it. I mean, they'll eat that as well, but the percentages is lower. So I'm just going to add my eyes, I'm using a pair of pseudo eyes. Um, but up to you, you can, anything from bead chain to tungsten dumbbells, and everything in between. So I'm just getting these lashed on. Nice and tight. And before I really finalise them, just make sure they're alright. So, come to the back. And then I'll just get a wee bit of head cement on here. I'm using a flat thread, right? This is actually UTC. Um, But as with all UTC threads, you can see that it's already starting to jump off the spool because it's garbage. But it's just what I have handy. They didn't have any black danvils the last time we were in there by black thread. So, anyway, it's just UTC crap. So, the tail, the first thing to tie in is some black saddle hackles. And I'm not going to be very fussy about how I match them up. Right, um, I'm going to tie in a half dozen. The original calls for eight, but I mean uh, ten maybe actually, if I, if I remember right. But like, a half a dozen's fine um, for this fly anyway. Like if you want it but bulkier, by all means, you tie them bulkier. Um, so I've got these in. They're all slightly slightly different lengths to make them swim better and. The kind of any old way, right? I've no, I've no matched them up that carefully. So, get them in, and I'm tying a fly about six inches long here, fifteen centimeters, or thereabouts, maybe slightly less. Ah, there, fourteen and a half. That's fine. So, I've got them tied in, now, more cement, right, I want these tie in points so it'll be very secure, I don't want 
want I don't want the fly, I don't want the thread bursting basically when this fly dies what I want is that it's the the tail's, but, tail's broken, the feathers are broken, the bucktail's broken rather than um, any of the actual tying, the material should be breaking so I'm just coming in as I like to do uh, when I'm tying dumbbells in and that now that I've come down I've done a bit of tying at the back I've locked that thread onto the shank Right I mean if you start if you start doing this you'll notice they never move Right, they're really on there It's, it's much more secure than you know, just a, a wee drop of super glue Just building durability into the fly. Okay, so bucktail tied in the round. Um, if you look on uh, the fly tires page, Hans Willeman see, uh, site, you'll see um, they talk about the, the version of it that's on there, they talk about stacking it up. I find, I mean, if you want to tie like a Whistler version, I suppose, um, but really. It's hiding around. Um, but up to yourself, you tie it how the style you like. I'm going to tie it in the round. I want the, the bucktail all the way around the shank. Um, I'm going for a fairly slender profile on this one. Now, this bucktail, oops, this bucktail that I've got is quite. Um, solid, it's not very hollow at all it's not really the ideal hair but it's what I've got in black um, it's getting hard to have a good stock of quality bucktail here in Japan at the moment um, so I've just put that on I'm just manipulating it around the shank and I'm going to before I really lock it in I'll let it, I'll let it spin because it will spin with these three or four loose wraps, right? Just let it spin as that tightens up, and just make sure that you don't have too much uh, or too many fibres on one side or the other, right? Let's just see how it sits. And you can manipulate it so that you get full coverage. And then I like to just come to the front and then snag that in. Right. Now I don't mind. I don't mind if it's a bit sparser on the bottom, right? Because obviously the fly is going to fish hook point up. So if there's a bit more drag on this side, that's okay. But I don't want it any lateral drag, right? My battery died there, so I hope I've no missed anything. I think uh, I think we're all right. I'm just building this up so I've got a decent a decent base, so it's flat there, right? Um, so I can tie in this next bunch of, of bucktail. Now this bucktail, similar size, right? Um, but again. You can you can tie it heavier or, or, or sparser depending on your requirements. You can even move into the base of the tail if you need to. Right, you get a bit of a bit of flare, a bit of bulk. So I'm just pre-trim this. So it's basically the hair's the same length, but that's obviously so. Like if I go like that. It's fucking impossible for you to see, but the hair's basically the same length, right, as this stuff. Right. But when I tie it forward, that's going to, the, end, the tips are obviously 
uh, going to fall short of where the first tie in a bucktail is so that you're sort of I'm not really tapering the hair as such but I'm putting taper into the into the dressing so I'm just again same as before just getting that in I've got three or four wraps and then when I'm happy I'll come in and I'm going to tie back forcing that against this wee bump right so that will give me a bit of flare and that will get it nice and secure now I've got a wee, a wee bit of cleaning up to do with the eyes here but that's fine right in, get all that protected with thread and then as before head cement right, do not be shy your head cement now I'm going to add a bit of flash, this is uh, it's black and blue um, Sabai Sparkle here it's nice, it's got, it's, it's mostly black and kind of like black silver um, a couple of very, you know, it's a little bit 5% or so blue, just a wee accent. If you don't want that, don't put it in. It's simple. Or you can use something else, you can put a flash tail on them. So we'll just have that coming back. And I'm just going to fold the ends back. This one's a bit flashier than the the other one, but that's okay. I don't mind having, you know, if you, you can have one that's flashy, one that's no. You look at the water on the day when you turn up, see what you're going to fish. That's fine. Now I'm going to get a couple of webby, like you went slap in or something like that. I've got some two really webby black hackles here. Oh no. We tie first the saddles for the side. So we've got kind of a couple of we've got four here. I'm going to tie them along the sides, and I want them to be different lengths. So I'll tie two on my side. I've got a long one and a short one, and they can come to the nearly the back there. Just do the same again on your side. Again, decent distance between the tips so that the so the hackles really swim. I don't want them. I don't want them like that. I want them side by side rather than one on top of the other. That's nice. I like the look of this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just take my tie in back. I don't want any creep, right, I want space for my hackle in that right, I, you know, I want them tied right back at the same point as my bucktail then I've got my two black saddles slapping, whatever, right two nice webby webby hackles the tips back. It's 
Ah, vamos a ver. Right, this is the water push right here. I'm going to have a, a dense collar in front of this bucktail. So I'm just folding these hackles as I wind. Once you've used all the usable feather, which I have, right, you'll notice that like, I've stopped there before I've got onto the brittle stem. The stem's still nice and flexible where I've tied it in, but only a few mil further. I mean, it would be less than half a wrap and it would be brittle and the, the, the hackle might split. Right, so get that nice and secure. And, I mean, you could finish that like that, but I am going to put on a marabou hackle at the front. for a bit more volume, a bit more movement but I mean you don't need to just double it, just sweep it as you go some folk like to wet them I, I, I don't really like to do that because I, I feel that I can't uh, sort of envisage where it's going to sit. I, I like to see what it looks like when it's dry because that's basically how the fly swims. So I've used all the good fibres. Folding that stem back because it's nice and thin on the bloods. I, let's, I like a blood curl for that. My way, my waist. Just going to tidy everything up here, just clean it up, basically. And you can use the, the dumbbells to help you, right? You can sort of figure it out a wee bit if you need to, just to help clean that up. No, I don't mind moistening it to get it out of the way, right? this then before I put any, some, any more cement wet my finger because I don't want the marabou to suck any of the cement in right so don't get your thread wet but do wet the marabou you know wet the I'll, I'll, once the once the cement's dry I'll um Soak, I'll soak the whole fly and let it dry in shape, but at this stage oh, yeah, got a big yeah, plenty of cement on the on the thread but no the hackle. And that's by wetting it I'm making sure that it won't try to suck any of that cement up into its fibres. Cause it's already soaked up with moisture but there you go there's the bard in black looks like that when it's dry and done uh, it's an absolute killer right? it catches everything all the predatory fish will eat this man there's, there's you're in dirty water or very clear water tarpon striped bass Large mouth black bass, you know, pike, everything. Tie some up. So I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another one. Take lines, guys. Bye.